Hey, what's up guys? It's Ricky Lopez here and I'm here to do an album review for Britney Spears' Blackout. Now first of all, we all know Blackout is one of uh, two, um, probably the best pop albums in the entire world um, ever released because of how dynamic it had on the music industry. Now first off, um, I want to say that um, I love Britney Spears. Britney, you have put out so many incredible music all throughout all these years but I have to uh, do a review specifically on Blackout because it's literally been 10 years since Blackout has been released and it's almost like it, it's almost gonna be 10 years it's almost gonna be 10 years um it's um it was released back in October and October is coming up so I'm just gonna do a review on Britney Spears' um, Blackout so let's get right to it so first of all, the album kicks off with Gimme More, and as we all know, Gimme More is one of Britney's iconic hits, like, overall. Um, her performance in the VMAs was unbelievable. Um, it was just, the song basically is like a club-ready type of, it gives you a club, uh, it gives you a club vibe that you can only experience while listening to this song. This song honestly makes you want to pole dance, it makes you want to strip, it makes you want to be ratchet, but all in the same time have a good time, you know? So overall, um, and also the lyrics that I li like, um, one of the reasons why I like uh, Black um, Give Me More is because of the lyrics. First of all, you have one side where Britney is singing about, apparently she's singing about sex. However, if you look closely in the lyrics, it's actually it's, it's actually having her sing about her issues with fame. You know, the crowd is saying, give me more. And so it's like a, it's like a two for one type of deal. This song has um, two meanings and it's, it's out of this world. So moving on, we got Piece of Me. This is basically Britney's clap back on the media for talking so much smack about her. Um, she's like, do you want a piece of me? And she's going through what's, you know, she's going reviewing all the drama that she's been through and putting it all in this song. It's also the name of her Vegas show. You guys need to check that out. Next, we got Radar. Radar with the catchiest chorus, catchiest lyrics, catchiest everything. Um, the video is hardcore. Um, this was supposed to be the fourth single off of Blackout, but fortunately, it was also this song was also included in Britney's, um, you know, Circus album, and it was released as the fourth single there. So thankfully, like this song is so good, Britney put it on two albums: Blackout and Circus. Next, we got Break the Ice. Um, she's, Britney starts off singing, I know I kept you waiting, but I'm here now, and then I was like, that right there, that's the biggest intro of all time, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, Britney, oh my gosh, the, through, towards the middle of the, um, towards the middle of the bridge, the bridge is so sexy, you know, it sounds like, um, I don't know what it sounds like, it sounds like someone is swinging something around, like, you guys need to sing, you, you guys need to hear it and check it out for yourself. Next, we got uh, Heaven on Earth. Heaven on Earth is like a very dance track. Um, it's like five minutes long, but it's like throughout the, those entire five minutes, this song gives you life. It makes you feel like you're, uh, like heaven is on earth. Like this song is beautiful. It's beautifully done. It's like you cannot tap your toes and dance and, and you know, nod and move and shake without, without listening to this song. Like you guys need to listen to this song and you get all types of goosies and goosebumps. Moving on, next we got I, I um, Get Naked, I Got a Plan. I'm just like, okay, cool. Uh, Brittany is going towards the back, uh, the creepy side of her mind, and she's exploiting. And she's not, she's not leaving, she's not making anything, you know, she's not keeping anything PG over here. She's talking about how you want to see my body naked, all that. I mean, it's called Get Naked, I Got a Plan. One thing I like about this song is the guy, there's like this guy singing in the background saying, I go to plan, we can do it, just to, you know, there's like a background voice of some guy singing the, uh, singing the, uh, with Britney. And that just makes it, this makes this song creepy, but in a good way. Next, and if, um, this, this song is just freaky all the way. Now, if you want to get freakier, we're going to get to Freak Show. Freak Show is, like, very, t up, like, it's like, okay, the, this song is, like, two minutes, but it's, like, the best two minutes of, the, one of the best two minutes of this entire album. Because it's, like, so upbeat, it's so freaky, the lyrics, Britney is singing so fast, it's, you, you know, she's going crazy, and 
I just love it. And, and her voice gets masculine up and down, you know? She's like, freak show. You know, like her voice turns masculine. And I just think that's just straight out creative. Next, we have Britney whining in this song, um, Toy Soldier. Toy Soldier, like her, like Britney is like whining. Like she's like, she's like crying. She's like in need. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. Britney, your voice sounds incredible on this voice, even though you're, I mean, she, basically, Britney is, this song, Toy Soldier, Britney is singing about how she's sick and tired of all these Toy Soldier, and how she wants a real man, so, this song has her whining all the way, and it just sounds crazy, weird, and, but it's just a very cool, upbeat song. Next, we got Hot, Hot, um, next we got Hot As Ice. Hot as ice is like so cool because it's like a paradox. Like how can, how can ice be hot? <laughs> there you go. Brady's making you think. But anyway, I love how this song is like upbeat. You know, the chorus is catchy, almost like oh, not as um not as catchy as Radar, but very very catchy. And the bridge is so cool. Brady is singing like in a high pitched voice up in this song, so it is something unique. You guys need to check out. Next, we got Ooh Ooh Baby. Now, the guitars and the instrumentation is everything. Britney is, uh, um, it, it just sounds very sexy in this song. And the car and, and the guitars make, you know, just, you know, push that, uh, makes her voice, you know, even sexier. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. You know, I, this, this song sounds very sinful, to be honest. But that's what we like about Britney. Britney has no shame. Moving on, next we got Perfect Lover. Perfect Lover makes you wanna, it's like a hip hop track, but it's one of those hip hop tracks that makes you want, that, that's like danceable too. So basically, um, there's all, it almost sounds like spray cans. And I know, cause I'm an artist. This whole channel is called Ricky's Art. So I know a little bit about spray paint. But anyway, I was like, those are spray paint bottles in the background of the song. But it all sounds very good. Britney, oh my gosh, this song would have a really sick choreography. You know? Um, you know, I love, I mean, this would make a very cool dance move. Someone needs to make a, like, a choreography, like, a, like, 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 a video to this, uh, uh, y'all need to dance to this song. Really, like, it makes you, like, just thinking about it makes me want to move. Next, we got Why Should I Be Sad. Now, there are very, there's a lot of speculations about Britney writing this, um, about this song being about Kevin, her ex boy, or uh, her ex husband. Um, personally, I feel like it is, because if you look at the lyrics, she's singing about, you know, about this guy that's a little too, like, this, this sounds a little, like, like it's too much somebody and it's a little too personal. So basically, and then and in the bridge, she's like, don't worry about her little angels. And those could, she could be singing about her kids. But, I don't know. But you know what? It's music is music, so you guys interpret it however you want to interpret it. So, let's move on. But it's still a very good song. I mean, this just goes to show that Britney is not feeling sorry for herself whatsoever. I mean, why should I be freaking sad, you know? Why should I be sad or mad? Heaven knows. Like, for real. Britney just mo Britney's like, I don't care. I'm just going to move on. Not even going to give this one more thought. So basically, that's, that's what the song is about. Next, we got, if you get the Target version or iTunes version or the Japanese version, there's going to be bonus tracks. And as usual, I do bonus tracks in this channel. So moving on, so the first track we got is Out of This World. Out of This World is like very beautiful. So one thing I noticed is that Brady loves to sing about space. Hold It Against Me, Man on the Moon, Out of This World. Um, oh my gosh, like she's, she's singing, oh, she's always singing about space. But you know what? It's cool. It's cool, Brittany. I love it. That's what I love. And it's very upbeat, very beautiful. The, lyri the lyrics are beautiful. They're quote-unquote out of this world. Moving on, now we got everybody. Everybody, we all know, it's like a sample of some famous 80s songs or whatever. Uh, oh, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This. There you go. Um, the beat, the Brittany definitely takes this a classic and makes it her own thanks to her catchy lyrics and her catchy voice. You know, this song has been, like, reinvented in a way. Next, we got the 15th track. Yeah, 15th track. Get Back. Now, Get Back was the, produced by Danger, Danger Hands, um, who also produced Get Naked, uh, 
you know, give me more and break the ice. And in this song, Brady is singing about get back, get back, get back. If you want to take, you know, get back, get back. You know, the lyrics, are, once again, are freaking catchy as heck. And the instrumentation is crazy. This is a crazy dance track because of how the background song, the background is like, it sounds like bees, but it sounds like, you know, like, like it's very club ready. That's all I'm going to say. Next, we got Give Me More, the Junkie XL remix, and this remix is very beautiful. It's very long, but throughout this song, it's like hardcore. Um, there's crazy instrumentation, high pitches, how high pitch instrumentation here and there, and it just makes Britney, you know, it just gives Give Me More a whole new definition. Now, that was my review on Blackout. Now, here's my thoughts on like the whole overall impact and opinion, in my opinion, on Britney. Now, first of all, Blackout was done and was uh, created and it was made in 2007. Now, for those of you who do not know who have been living under a rock, Britney has been through craziness, all types of craziness um, that year. And to me, I just felt, I, I, didn't, I don't want to feel sorry for her because she clearly said in her, um, in her, what's it called, for the record documentary that she doesn't want people to, fake, to give her any pity. And that's what I'm going to do, Brittany. Brittany, you're just a strong woman. And so I'm, I'm going to do that. But basically, this album was created during a rough time. And I hate to say this, but I have a feeling that if it wasn't for all this roughness that Brittany went through, we would not have gotten Blackout. But because Blackout is like a F you and middle fingers in your face type of album, Brittany, like this album is not personal whatsoever, except for what should have been what a well, except for a song why should I be sad this album stays away from personal and a focus on Britney's like you know blackout like this album is very dark and sexy and seductive it's full of seductiveness and seductive lyrics and seductive music and it's full of all that and I feel like this album really did it really impacted it um every freaking song is danceable to I feel uh, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish there was like a way Britney could have done a music video for every single one of those songs because those songs have freaking potential. Toy Soldier, Hot As Ice, I just wish that, you know, the music, the music industry could like, you know, allow artists to do, you know, music videos for all their songs. And not just crappy music videos. I'm talking about like real hardcore thought out music videos. But you know what? Britney went on tour afterwards. Um, thanks to the thanks to her circus album. So overall, this album really impacted because of how it sounds. It like it's like bringing to the um it, it like brought a whole new sound to the pop um to the pop genre. And that's what I like about Blackout. And um, Brittany loves Blackout so much. She loves it so much that she even included a French version of a song. She made a French song called Compulsory Electra and it, it translates to Blackout and it's included on her ninth studio album, Glory. So, Blackout has made a huge impact. Now moving on, now guys, that was my whole thought on Blackout and its impact overall. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Uh, don't forget to hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and yeah, I'll do a, a whole new review next time. So, see ya.